In the spring of 1997, the city of Grand Forks, North Dakota, nestled along the Red River, braced for a seasonal flood. Every spring, snowmelt from winter runoff would cause the river to swell, and residents were accustomed to minor flooding. But this year was different. Record snowfall and an unusually quick thaw, coupled with heavy spring rains, brought the Red River to a boiling point. As the water level rose day by day, it became clear that the city was facing a flood unlike anything it had experienced before. This was not just a seasonal high water mark the Red River was about to breach every barrier, leaving Grand Forks in a state of crisis. As the river continued to rise, local and federal authorities issued warnings. Levees were fortified, and emergency services prepared for the worst, but many residents underestimated the severity of what was coming. The river's forecasted crest was adjusted repeatedly, rising higher each time. But despite the warnings, many in Grand Forks believed that the city's levees would hold. They had seen floods before and felt prepared. However, by mid-April, it became alarmingly clear that the existing flood defenses were inadequate, and the Red River was on the verge of overwhelming everything in its path. On April 18, 1997, the Red River finally breached the levees, unleashing a torrent of water into Grand Forks and the neighboring city of East Grand Forks, Minnesota. Floodwaters surged through streets, filling basements and first floors within minutes. The scene was one of chaos as residents scrambled to evacuate, fleeing their homes with whatever they could carry. The water levels reached over 26 feet above flood stage, inundating entire neighborhoods and turning downtown Grand Forks into a murky lake. Cars, debris, and personal belongings floated through the city streets, and people waded through waist-deep water, seeking shelter in the few high ground areas that remained. As if the flooding weren't enough, an even more terrifying disaster unfolded in downtown Grand Forks. Just as the floodwaters crested, a fire broke out in a historic downtown building. With water surrounding the city and the fire hydrants submerged, firefighters were helpless to control the blaze. The flames quickly spread, engulfing 11 buildings in a devastating inferno that illuminated the flooded streets. The eerie combination of fire and water left an indelible mark on the city. Residents watched in horror as their downtown was swallowed by both flames and floodwaters, an unimaginable double tragedy that compounded the city's suffering. When the floodwaters finally began to recede, the full scale of the devastation was revealed. Over 75% of the homes in Grand Forks were damaged or destroyed, with thousands of people left homeless. Schools, businesses, and public facilities were submerged, and essential infrastructure was in shambles. The damage was estimated to be over $3.5 billion, a staggering blow to the city's economy. Many residents returned to find their homes filled with mud, mold, and irreparable water damage. In the wake of the flood, Grand Forks was left reeling, its community facing the enormous challenge of rebuilding from the ground up. Despite the overwhelming devastation, the people of Grand Forks showed incredible resilience. Volunteers from across the United States poured into the city to assist with the cleanup and recovery. Organizations like the American Red Cross, local churches, and even neighboring states provided aid, shelter, and supplies. Temporary housing was set up, and local schools reopened their doors, providing a sense of normalcy for families and children displaced by the flood. The community banded together, determined to rebuild and restore the city they called home. This spirit of unity and perseverance became a defining characteristic of the recovery effort, as Grand Forks began the long process of healing. In the aftermath of the flood, state and federal agencies stepped in to support Grand Forks' recovery. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, AVEMA, and other organizations provided critical funding and resources, helping residents rebuild their homes and businesses. 
the city worked closely with engineers and urban planners to rebuild its infrastructure, incorporating new flood defenses and updated levees to prevent future disasters. The flood led to significant changes in how the city approached disaster preparedness, with an emphasis on creating a more resilient community. By 2007, a massive flood wall system was completed, standing as a permanent safeguard and a testament to the lessons learned from the 1997 disaster. The Grand Forks flood was a turning point for the city, forever changing its landscape and the lives of its residents. While the flood caused immense damage, it also brought about a renewed focus on community and resilience. Grand Forks emerged stronger, with improved infrastructure and a more united population. Annual flood awareness programs and updated emergency protocols are now a core part of the city's commitment to safety, helping future generations understand the importance of preparedness. The flood remains a deeply impactful chapter in the city's history, reminding residents of the strength that lies within their community. Today, the story of the Grand Forks flood is one of both tragedy and triumph. The city has been rebuilt, its streets and buildings standing as symbols of resilience. Memorials and community events honor the lives lost and the challenges faced, while new flood defenses offer reassurance that Grand Forks is prepared for the future. The 1997 flood may have brought the city to its knees, but it also showcased the unbreakable spirit of its people. Through cooperation, determination, and compassion, Grand Forks rose from the waters, stronger and more united than ever before.